Hello and welcome to another little video. Um, so I got an email earlier this morning that uh, Finale version 27 is coming soon. Uh, here is the Finale blog that the email linked us to. And I thought I'd just make a little video just going through um, some of the features uh, purportedly coming in this new version of Finale. I'll give you a little bit of my initial thoughts on it. Um, some critiques, certainly. And um, explaining a little bit of from the best of what I know, uh, what what some of these changes are. Um, so this is Finale's official, uh, this is the Finale blog, and you'll see if I scroll down here, uh, it's coming soon, here's the here's when this was released. Um, it's been nearly two and a half years since the initial release of Finale version 26. Has it really been that long? Um, yeah, it has been a while since they've released a new version. Uh, after multiple product updates and the launch of Spanish language Finale, we are excited to announce that Finale version 27, the next major version of the world's most powerful music notation software, is coming soon. Um, and then they showcase um, a couple things right here. And just by the looks of it, um, why don't we just go, go through them one by one? So advanced sharing functionality. So what they've gotten in the email uh, said that you'll be it'll be easier to share music uh, publicly and privately to other individuals. Now, the way I have been personally doing this, and I imagine this is how like most of us do it, is um, you basically just export or you just get your finale file and you just email it to somebody because the finale files are so small. I mean, they're the size of like a, a, a docx file, so they're very easy to go through email, and you send to another finale user. So, um. I'm I'm definitely a little curious on how this will make things easier and what their plans are for this, because I personally haven't had too much of an issue sharing um, files, uh, MUSX files across. So um, I don't know. Was this a, a feature that people were really uh, asking for? Um, we'll see. I mean, I'm going to leave leave my thoughts open on that. Uh, you can definitely leave a comment down below if you're if you have some more thoughts on this. Uh, the next category is uh, Smoofle support. Now, uh, in case you are wondering what Smoofle is, um, from what I can under what I understand of it to be is basically a standard music. Well, it's a standard music font layout. Basically, it's a standardized um, it's a standardized uh, format for music fonts. From what I can gather, I might not be completely right on that, but basically, it's just uh, standard music layout like across all of the music platforms you know finale has its own fonts sibelius has its own fonts dorico has its own fonts and they're trying to they're trying to universalize all of that they're trying to make sure it's everyone can at least that's what the goal is for smoothful from what i understand um i might not be entirely correct again this is something that's a little out of my uh comprehension but um that's that's my understanding of that. So actually, this is a great change for, for Finale. They're finally going to integrate Smoothful support. For the average person, I don't think this will be too important. For engraver, engraver it might be important. But for, you know, a, a layman who, or, a, you know, a, I don't know, um, a composer or an arranger or someone like that who just writes something on Finale and just gives it to their colleagues and whatnot, I don't think this will really make a difference. But, um, but it's nice to have, it's nice to see how this is coming through. Playback improvements. Um, I wish they went more detail about this. Um, I, I, Finale playback is is fine for where it's at. Uh, it's it's certainly far from perfect. However, um, playback improvements I think are what we consider a bug fix and quality of life uh, update rather than just. I mean, I don't know. We'll we'll see what they uh, we'll see. Hopefully, in the upcoming days, what they'll uh, if they can elaborate on this. Um, music XML 4.0. Now I started out with music XML 1.1 starting out and it's a pretty, I'd say a recent, um, this is, this is pretty recent. This is basically, um, if you have someone else who's, uh, if you, if you're writing, if you're in Finale and you want to send your Finale file over to someone who's in Sibelius, they want to open up your Finale file in Sibelius. Um, they can't open up a MUSX file, so you'll export it to a music XML file. And um, you'll probably understand how janky um, opening <laughs> music XML files are on another 
notation software. So um, it's it's always nice to see improvements being made um, to the uh, the XML format for sure. Uh, and um, if you're curious, here uh, is a whole slew of things that they fixed in the upcoming um, the upcoming 4.0 release. That uh, I think this is excellent that they are always updating this. And this is something that I think the finale has been really good on. I mean, you can see uh, they've they've been just progressively. Uh, I'm just curious. 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, wow, that was a while ago. Yeah, they've been getting better and better at it, and they, they've, they've been constantly working on this, so I'm, I'm very happy about this. Um, and then lastly, uh, very vaguely, they just say quality of life and, and bug fix updates. And this is always good to see. I mean, obviously, I mean, we should always be squashing bugs left and right, uh, no matter what software you're, 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 you're writing for. Um, but that's it. That's kind of all they've highlighted so far. And um, to be honest, I'm not too impressed. I'll just say that right out there, um, because I know how much these updates cost. They're about $150 for an update to each each version, and we haven't really seen... I mean, each of these updates has been very incremental. They've been very slow of releasing anything really groundbreaking or any kind of major restructuring. Um, I know a few years back, they I forget which version it was. I think it was version 25. They went to a um, uh, they went to a 64-bit platform, or they at least updated it to 64-bit, which is great. But it's not the 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 end user is not going to really understand or feel that. Well, they might feel it, but they might not experience that directly. Um, so, uh, is is this going to be an update that is going to really be worth the $150? Uh, I don't know. I I really don't know. Um, it, it may or may not be worth it. Personally, I have moved on from Finale. I've actually moved on to Dorico, which uh, maybe in the future I'll do a little video uh, comparing the two, see what's better, what's not better. Um, so maybe you can make an informed decision if you want to switch over to Dorico as well. Um, all I can say is I really enjoy Dorico quite a bit more than Finale. Uh, Finale for me has uh, frustrated me more than it has um, gi given me pleasure working with. So... Um, I, I, I would like to see more, um, uh, I, I think finally the, the software, the, the interface needs a complete overhaul. Um, it, it needs to be updated. It needs to be brought into the, um, it needs to be updated heavily, I think, um, especially with its functionality, which if that's the case, maybe this bug fixes and quality of life might be part of it, but, uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. So I'm going to leave it right there, short and sweet. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you guys all next time.